let's have some beer. What? Be going down, people of the world. Redbeard here. Beer review. Good times. Thanks for joining me. For the beer of today, we've got a bottle of Grandma. It's a fooder aged golden sour ale by Bellwoods out of Toronto, Ontario, coming in at 7.7% ABV. Uh, this is last year's version. It's currently the 20th of September, 2022. This was purchased... I can't even recall. Actually, you know what? This was bottled on the 26th of January, 2021. This is almost two years old. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Remember I had this in the fridge when uh, Bellwoods, around now has just released this year's version of this beer, and I've never actually had it. So we're going to crack it open and see how it ages. It's been kept in the fridge the entire time I've had it. A little bit of light's been... <clears throat> it's hit been hit like when the fridge has been open for a couple seconds, so uh, it should be okay. Crack it open. <clears throat> it, it's a different style of beer than I'm really used to so in that regard i'm kind of scared a little bit that's really not doing much heading and i think that kind of picked it up the uh bubbles the bubbles are loud oh that smells Ah, uh, Bretty, Bretonomuses. It's a kind of funky sour beer thing that I'm, I haven't had in a while, to be honest, but I, we haven't been friends in the past. There is kind of a sweet note that I like. Overall, though, it smells kind of weird. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's like weird. Very, very sour. Some kind of like tang almost coming through. Tangy. I've never said a beer was tangy before. That's powerful. Oh, there's like... I want to say I'm getting like a bit of a cherry-ish note off it. The flavor. It's not bad. It's really, really weird though. I feel like uh, maybe overall too complex for my palate to really comprehend. But we'll see. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Okay. My mouth kind of adapted really fast. Second drink. Not nearly as much of a punch in the in the taste buds the bretonomasis thing actually I got this <coughs> words let me just do this right here I'm assuming it's okay I'm actually not getting any I think if I had swirled that we might have got some chunks or something but I'm not going to complain yeah, that actually looks terrifying at the bottom of that bottle. Jesus, I actually should have done that. Um, Grandma is a Solera-style sour golden ale that we ferment and age in large oak footers. The acidity level is gentle within a crisp, dry body, accented by spritzy notes of green tea, bosque pear, and champagne. Okay, um, there's actually no ingredients on this. What the hell, Bellwoods? You're better than that. Nice label. It's a quilt. Well, actually, that's more of an Afghan. My mom has made several of those. A couple for me, even. They're nice. Wrap yourself in one in a, on a cold winter night. 
though. Why do you why just talk like that? Um, it's not bad. I don't hate it, but it's not something that I would gravitate to. I maybe <clears throat> I was thinking of maybe doing a Bellwood daughter in the near future. I could see myself grabbing another one to see, just to see the difference. That the, there's any variation year to year. It's got to be something, right? But um. I am going to give that a 6.5. I'd give it a 7, but there's no ingredients. Not cool. And uh, Untapped says 3.98 out of 5. 626 ratings overall. That's honestly a very small number, in my opinion. Oreo. This is good. I'm chewing myself. Um, yeah, we're done. If you had the beer, let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. Choice is yours. And I'll be back, something like this, pretty freaking soon. A peace out. Just realized. <clears throat> wound on my hand has been like front and center. I rolled my ankle, walked going over a curb, and scratched. Well, it's healed more or less now. It's not as bad, but yeah, there was a. There was a lot of blood. It hurt. Wasn't happy. <laughs>